I'm Nate Eaton here with Melaleuca CEO Frank Vandersloot. It is a big weekend. Fourth of July is here and the Melaleuca Freedom Celebration is back. It is indeed. We promised it to be back bigger than ever. You know, we've got, we uh, got shut down last year. We had this great plan. We we're going to do something from the mountain, but fire, the fire department said you might rethink that. So we listened to their counsel, but we said we're going to bring it back this year bigger than ever. So my question is, did you save all the fireworks from last year and combine them with this year? Is it going to be a massive show? Actually, we did something much better than that. We're, we're going All-American this year, mm -hmm. which we've never done before and which we don't know of any show that has, but there's a great uh, company in America now. So most fireworks come from China, you know. Uh, they've been doing fireworks, they invented them there hundreds of years ago. And, um, and they're a lot less expensive. But there's a company here in the United States, we're a U.S. company, that's what we're celebrating in America. And um, they do some real special effects. They cost anywhere from 25% to, to twice as much more. Uh, but we think they're worth it. And so we're going to use their fireworks, uh, American-made, uh, more vibrant colors, special effects. Uh, so yeah, that's different. But we no, we didn't use last year's. Last year's were Chinese. <laughs> so, it's a, so it will be an all-new show. It's an all-new show. There's, there's ways to make things better. People said, Frank, you always say it's better than last year. And the reason I do is because it's better than last year. We make sure of it. The budget is bigger. Every year we move the budget up. A little bigger budget. This year, much bigger. Uh, more shells than last year. Bigger shells. We measure. And, and when we say largest show west of the Mississippi, um, we know what we're talking about. We've documented it. This is by far, by far, by a margin, largest show west of the Mississippi by sheer just amount of firepower in the air. You say largest show, also expecting a very large crowd. 200,000 people expected to show up at Snake River Landing this Saturday. I've, I've been down there at 6 o'clock in the morning, the day of the show, and people are ready to get their spot. I mean, it, it is a, the anticipation builds throughout the day. And uh, this is, a, from what I understand, the, the area, there's a special platform designed just for the fireworks. So, yeah, so, you know, that Snake River Landing, uh, Balls Ventures, uh, we're grateful to them. They spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to build this venue, an amphitheater, specifically for the fireworks, uh, this, this huge, long stage. Um, we're, we're, widening, uh, we're widening the show. Usually, you know, before this, we, sh we shot off from three locations on that stage. You have three different sections. This, this year, we're going to five. So we're painting the entire canvas of the sky. Um, and uh, yes, Snake River Landing, Ball Ventures provides that for us. And, and you know, we ought to tell them thank you. Wow, it'll be quite an event. The fireworks start around 10 o'clock, 10.03, I think to be precise. And it's synced to music on Classy 97 radio. So you can listen to the music as you see the fireworks and get ready for the day with Riverfest that starts at noon at Snake River That's Landing. Right. That's right. Frank, what is the purpose for all of this? What is this all about? Well, it's about celebrating uh, the 4th of July, which was the signing of the Declaration of Independence, which was the beginning of freedom as the world knows it today. You know, prior to 1776, uh, freedom as it was declared and what the Founding Fathers vision for America didn't exist anywhere in the world. You didn't have the kind of freedoms that we experience today and that we take for granted today. It didn't exist. And so now, um, now it does exist in some other countries today because of America's example, but that was the beginning of freedom as we know it. So, uh, and since then, of course, over a million men and women have died to preserve, to create and preserve this freedom for us. So the, the, this event is to pay tribute to those million that gave their lives, their families, uh, the other veterans who have made huge sacrifices so that we can live in a free country that we take for granted sometimes often. And so we, we, want to, we want to say thank you. 31 minutes doesn't seem like enough, but we do our best to tell them thank you in those 31 minutes. So when we walk out of that event, we want people to be just thinking about how special it is that we live in this country and how grateful that we should be and how appreciative to those people who created it for us because freedom isn't free. And we didn't have to pay the price, but somebody did. 
So this is about paying them that tribute. And it's free for the public to attend, but you mentioned the budget, you've increased the budget. H how much does it cost to put the show on? Absolutely nothing compared to the price that those people paid. Absolutely nothing. All right, so for those people that have never been to the Melaleuca Freedom Celebration, why should they come Saturday night, 10 o'clock? I think it's important to reflect back sometimes on our lives and how we got here and who else impacted us so we could be here. I think for your own edification, take a minute and reflect back. If you have kids, bring them because of that message, that soundtrack, that music and this message that you're listening to while you're in that experience. Um, we try to teach them American history. We try to give a flavor of why um, this is a different kind of country and uh, how we got to be here. Uh, it's a little bit of an education and we try to do it with some emotion. You know, you gotta, I would just say to the public, I know some people watch from across town, but I think you miss 90% of the show if you're not right there. To be there at that event when these shells, these monstrous shells are going off over your head, the ground is shaking. <laughs> the, the, the ground that you're sitting on is shaking and, and that whole sky is lit up. Um, it's a different feeling. It's uh, accentuated with uh, the music, the message, and of course, uh, uh, the fireworks. Biggest fireworks show west of the Mississippi. Guaranteed. Maybe in the country? Uh, we think there are maybe three sh shows that will rival us that might be bigger than us. In 2019, that's the last time, we beat them, but we don't know that we're going to beat them this year. There was one show in, in uh, 2019 that we think was larger than us. That was Washington, D.C. We think we were the largest show other than Washington, D.C. Um, in 2019. But we don't know for sure. We hear Nashville's going to do a big show this year. I want to, I mean, I, if I make a statement, I want it to be absolutely accurate. So there may be a couple that rival us, but we know for absolutely sure, largest west of the Mississippi, maybe the third largest show in the nation, maybe the second largest. We think Washington, D.C. is probably going to beat us again. Nashville might beat us this year, we don't know. But largest show with American-made fireworks. We think there's no other company, that, that, that no other show that does the American-made to the volume we do. Yeah, we. And, uh, you know, where we get to see them all together, the whole community watching from one spot, that's pretty neat, too. Yeah, how excited are you? I'm really excited. We went without it last year. You know, the 4th of July has always been a big part of my life from the time I was really small and my parents didn't have any money. And, and so we didn't, like, spend a lot of money, but we could buy those fireworks today that are illegal. <laughs> so we'd make these, we put, you know, fireworks in pipes and shoot rocks and we blew up cans and we had mullen bushes we'd light on fire and wave them around for our own sparklers. So it was always a big thing uh, and it's always been a big thing in my life. So I, I love it. I love, I just love being there. Well, it will be a very fun time on Saturday. You can get all of the information at freedomcelebration.com. We have a link down below. You can click on that. There's information about parking, all of the vendors at uh, Riverfest, what you can eat, where you can sit, how you can get in and out. And of course, it will be a 4th of July to remember. Thank you, Frank. Thank you.